I hope that you guys are having a lovely weekend. I am in San Francisco right now, and I wanted to go live to talk about an incident that happened during the week. The Root, uh, which is a publication that I really respect and love, they uh, had a sit down interview with Malik Yoba. And the interviewer, his name is Tyrone Germain Starr. He sat down with Malik to discuss the um, all of the headlines that have appeared uh, concerning him and being trans attracted. And so kind of like at the midway point of the interview, Yoba was uh, kind of like reciting uh, specific sound bites that he had been saying in various interviews that I watched concerning him and his trans attraction. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a slight cold too, sorry. And so midway interview, Terrell goes kind of like deeper into uh, some of the headlines. And so I believe the question that he asked before is specifically about, um, he was looking at comments online. And so some of the comments stated that um, they believe that Malik Yoba had a fetish for trans women and that uh, the fetish, um, was not a preference, but because it was a fetish, um, that it was um, inappropriate that someone who is trans attracted, uh, they wouldn't necessarily have multiple sexual partners, which I found, I don't know how I felt about that. Um, I do believe that someone can have a preference for, or they can have a, a type. And I don't know if he has had a kind of like lasting relationship with someone who is trans. I don't know that. Um, and so I think that when you are giving an interview with someone that you should um, really be cautious about some of the questions that you ask because you never want to um, appear as if you're one-sided in an interview. You have to have uh, journalistic integrity. And no matter how you feel that you should, the goal is to really kind of like pull information from the interviewee so that it's well-balanced. <coughs> Sorry. And so... Um, at one point, um, the Terrell brought up the fact that there is a trans woman who her name is Mariah Lopez Ebony, and she was a sex worker starting at age 13, and she said that Malik had sought her out to have sex with her um, at the ages 13 and 16. And there was another trans woman who later came out. I think her name is Gen Janessa Bousset. I think that's how you pronounce her name. And Janessa stated that Malik would specifically request um, younger trans women. And so Malik during during this time stated that, you know, he didn't know, um, he didn't know Mariah Ebony Lopez um, and that he uh, denied the allegations. <coughs> oh man. I am trying to get over this cold. And so he, the interviewer um, asked a, like a follow-up question 
but you could see that Malik was very uncomfortable with the round of questions. Apparently, um, they had talked for four hours previously to discuss the um, go over questions and the direction of the interview. And so, <coughs> oh gosh. And so, the interviewer, Terrell, told Malik that they would actually go over the accusations uh, regard from Mariah and uh, Janessa. What I thought was very unprofessional during the interview is that Terrell stated that the more you talk, the worse you look. That is a complete no-no. An interviewer's job is not to be the judge and the jury. The interviewer's job is to interview their subject and to present the information the way that was presented by the interviewee. So I think that he um, really took away his own credibility, the interviewer, um, just because of the way that he conducted himself. And so a lot of people were saying that, oh, you know, um, before I go, Malik Yoba, yes, there needs to be an investigation regarding um, these underage women. Um, but it is not up to Terrell to make a judgment call based off of the information that Malik Yoba presented to him. I think that um, he shouldn't have made that comment about uh, the way that he looks because based off of that comment alone, I know um, what he thinks about Malik Yoba. And it sounds as if he should have never conducted the interview in the first place. Um, interviewer should be neutral. Um, I was actually giving an interview yesterday with a woman for a publication that I write for called Message, and she is trans. And I actually asked her about, you know, her thoughts regarding the Malik Yoba situation. And uh, she is in her early 30s, the woman that I spoke to yesterday. Um, and she stated that she knew that Malik Yoba was trans attracted for years. And she personally knows women who have financially benefited from having a romantic relationship with him. And so um, this has been something that a lot of people have known that he's been trans attracted. And, and so I think that interviewers should separate personal opinion from the code of ethics that you, um, you have to stand by when you are a journalist. And I think that the root owes Malik Yoba an apology. No matter what I think about Malik Yoba, I think that there needs to be an investigation with these underage, with the women who were underage when he engaged um, in a sexual um, act with them. That needs to be investigated. But the root owes him an apology because what they did was just further dig a grave for Malik Yoba. Does he deserve it? I can't, you know, you know, he has to have his day in court. Um, I, I do think the women should uh, have their day in court as well. But um, the, what they did um, just was very unethical. And so I'm curious about uh, what you guys think about this particular situation. Do you think that uh, Terrell um, 
that he should have used that language with Malik Yoba. Um, do you guys think that Malik Yoba is guilty of engaging in a sexual act with minors? I'm just curious because like, I thought that this, <clears throat> I thought that this story was going to die. And um, I feel like this story will be in the headlines uh, until the end of the year. And I think that Malik Yoba should just stay um, out of the headlines, um, avoid interviews for uh, the rest of the year. And then the fortunate thing is that um, one of his daughters was with him during the interview. And so she had to sit and watch that. And just reading the comments about, you know, people's thoughts regarding the situation, um, there are just some ignorant and cruel people in this world um, who can't separate a headline from a person's character and integrity. Um, just, just malicious. Um, some of the comments were like, how do you exist in this world as a fully functioning adult? Um, that part was just kind of, um, just very sad to read some of the comments. Um, but I just wanted to come on and just share my thoughts about this particular situation. I hope that you guys are having a great weekend and I, um, hopefully the next time you hear my voice, um, I won't sound as congested and, uh, won't be coughing as much. Have a great weekend guys. Besos.